Bienvenidos a México. Mexico is a diverse country with lots of different regional foods, customs, and music. And while its colloquial language, its colloquial Spanish, also varies greatly from state to state, there are some phrases which are typical across most of the country. And in this video, we'll look at 10 typically Mexican slang phrases that will have you sounding like a local way in advance of your next trip. Número uno. Estoy crudo. Estoy cruda. Here we have the notorious word for a hangover. Every Latin American country has a way of saying it, and in Mexico, you are raw when you're hungover. Estoy crudo. Estoy cruda. It's used in combination with estar. So, for example, you can say, Estuvimos de parranda ayer, por eso estoy crudo. Parranda is synonymous with party or fiesta, or, or partying, as in, Estuvimos de parranda. Número dos. Que onda, güey? Güey is like saying man or dude in North American English slang, or just another way of referring to someone without actually saying their name. And que onda is like what's up in English. Que onda, güey? ¿Cómo te fue en tus vacaciones? Another way of saying what's up in Mexican Spanish is que pedo. Now, pedo literally means fart, but it's often used in Mexican slang to mean a whole bunch of things. We'll see another example of how to use it later in this video. In the meantime, just remember that in Mexican slang, when someone asks you, que pedo, all they're saying is, what's up? Numero tres, aguas. This piece of Mexican slang goes back to the time when people used to throw their dirty water out of their windows onto the street, and they'd say, aguas, to warn the people below. So today, this is how you would say, be careful or watch out, very simply. Aguas, se va a caer el vaso. Número cuatro. Está cañón. Quiero visitar Tulum, pero está cañón viajar solamente por un fin de semana. Cañón is used to describe something that's difficult or hard, and it's used in conjunction with estar. Está cañón. It's hard. Número cinco. No manches. Here we have one of Mexico's most popular slang phrases. No manches. Te presté el dinero y nunca me lo pagaste. In this phrase, no manches means you're kidding me. But it can also mean no way. Me regalaron 100 pesos. No manches. Eres suertero. The more offensive version of this expression is no mames. But it's not the kind of thing you'd say to just anyone. So it's better to stick to no manches. Número 6. No hay pedo. This is another way the slang term pedo is used in Mexico. Necesitas hacer horas extra mañana. No hay pedo. Puedo hacerlas. No hay pedo is like, no hay problema. No problem. It's okay. Número 7. Tienes feria. ¿Tienes feria para salir este fin de semana? No, no me pagaron, güey. No puedo. To have a fair... Tener feria is like saying you have money. Or, no tengo feria is like, I don't have money. So if your friend asks you to go out for a drink, but you can't afford it, you could say, no tengo feria. Número 8. Padre. Chido. ¿Y cómo estuvo la boda de tu primo? Oh, estuvo padrísima. La pasamos chido. Here we have two synonymous expressions in Mexican Spanish. Padre and chido or chida, which both essentially mean amazing or awesome. Número nueve. La neta or neta. Estoy saliendo con Julia. La neta. Neta, hoy? La neta basically means the truth and neta would be like, really? In English slang. It's pretty much the same as de veras or de verdad in other Latin American countries. Número diez. Eres bien gacho, o eres bien gacha. Lo siento, no te puedo acompañar mañana. Ah, eres bien gacho, me dijiste que sí. Eres gacho is like saying mala onda, o bad vibes. When directed at a person, this would be like saying you're lame, or you're not cool in North American slang. Bueno, so now you have 10 very Mexican phrases to use on your next trip to Mexico. Just remember to enjoy the reactions from the locals when you use them. 
To download a PDF of all of the phrases you've just heard, please click the link in the description below to sign up for our free Spanish vault. And if you'd like more phrases and idioms that will help you become fluent in Spanish, then check out our Phrases and Idioms playlist that will teach you lots of great stuff from all around the Spanish-speaking world. I'll see you back here for new videos every week. Until then, hasta luego.